I am Nico van Stee, hey, yeah, and I am born in, in Holland in 93. Hey, yeah, we moved here to Canada and we start farming in 2001. Hey, yeah, and we put up another building in 2009 as well. 2017 already, hey, yeah, we put up hey, yeah, uh, this new building for the dairy cows. That's for us, hey, yeah. it, was, it was fairly new, hey, yeah. and with Nick in the background, hey, yeah, uh, on that moment, hey, yeah, I, we, we go ahead with it, with the new generation. We, we were growing out of the other barn, and you need to build a whole new facility, because Nick has the knowledge of the electronics. It was mostly his choice, together with us, but mostly his choice to go with the robots. And I guess it's the future. Uh, so I really knew electronics and computers, robotics. So that was one of the reasons. Another one was it's uh, huge labor savings. Uh, it's just better for the cows. They get milk more often. It's better for their udders, better for their health overall. So yeah, it's just, and it has really been a, a huge boon. I mean, we're seeing an increased milk production more than we ever expected. Yeah, we purchased the R9500 because uh, it attaches really quick. It doesn't need to look twice for teats uh, when it's, you know, washing them and then hooking up. The arm is very compact, so fits all nice and neatly in the box. We can uh, dry treat a cow really, really easily just from behind. When the teat cup attaches to the cow, uh, first thing it does is it starts stimulating very, very quickly. Uh, the pulsations are very fast. Uh, that's just to do the stimulation. Then it will wash the teat inside the teat cup. Um, after that, it strips out a little bit of the milk and then it will switch that over to good milk and it will take, it'll just switch it over to the regular pulse, uh, milking pulsation. Uh, it'll milk her out and then at the end it will dip with iodine. Everything's all in one so and that's based on per quarter so it'll actually some one quarter will be milking already while another one is still trying to attach and one could be dipped while another one is still milking. Uh, manual attach has been really nice. We use it when training uh, some of the heifers when they're coming in. Sometimes they're a little kicky and it just, they'll kick it off. It'll take a little longer to attach, so if we can get it hooked up, it'll, uh, on manual mode, it'll milk them throughout just a little bit faster, a little bit more smoothly, and they actually get trained on it a little bit faster as well. stress of being in time, have to be there six o'clock in the morning and five o'clock at night. Uh, also the, the four hours at least chore time, they were cut in half. Yeah. It was every time when we had an ad in the paper for uh, people to work for us, it was a hard time to get people. You know what, there's a lot of things that has changed. Uh, for one, it's cut the hours down significantly. Uh, we used to have two people for a milking shift in the parlor for four hours. Now we can get away one person, two hours, and it's flexible, and that's a big one. Uh, we're harvesting, we'll do it a couple hours later, or a couple hours earlier so we can get started earlier. We have a sand barn, hey, yeah, and hey, yeah, that, that is a, a little bit hey, yeah, wear and tear on it. We have to replace hey, yeah, every year hey, yeah, a cable. Hey, yeah, so far, hey, yeah, we didn't have any issues for three years hey, yeah, with the box scraper. 
Hey, uh, we didn't have any issues hey, uh, with the manure pump. The piston pump is awesome. He is close by. Hey, yeah, that's important to us. They really helped us with the building plan for, for to how to build it, where to have the gates and fine tune. They were really good in, in making the blueprint for this one. Our business relationship with uh, Conestoga has been really great. Uh, they, from the beginning, they helped us design the barn. Uh, you know, the layout of the robots, the stalls, how we were doing the manure system. Uh, but even today, like if I have an issue with one of the uh, robots at two o'clock in the morning, I can call them up and I can get an answer and get things going, or they'll come out with parts and fix it if I don't have them. Yeah, we've got a really good relationship.